Hello ladies and gentlemen, so I have a Dell Latitude E7250 Gonna be upgrades I'll show you the front So it actually has a Intel Core i7 5th Gen 5600U It's got a touch screen 1920 by 1080 it's Got a backlit keyboard So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be upgrading the RAM uh, Solid state drive 256 and then replacing the battery. So, what you have to do is you'll need a, either a Phillips screwdriver mini or you can use the Stanley. I like this one also, but I'll put in the description you guys can buy them online. So, remove the battery first. And there's one screw in the left, one in the right. And it's going to slide down like this. It's got 8 gigs of RAM. So it's going to go like this. And I'm going to be upgrading to 16 gigs of RAM. So you're going to install the first stick in the slot A here. And I'm using a crucial memory. It's got a 128 gig solid state drive M SATA. So it's got one screw here in the corner. I'm going to zoom in the camera a little bit. So they look the same actually. But that one is a 256, just got it. It's a Samsung. And just slide up like this. And the stone the new battery, they both look the same actually. I'll put in the description the model you guys if you want to replace the battery you can buy it. It's a genuine Dell battery. So what I will do is I'm gonna plug it back in and turn it on. Let's see. Because I already installed Windows on the uh, MSA to drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Or bias settings. Uh, F2. Oh, you get a large amount of system memory change. Click F1. So I'm going to system info. Okay. So I'm going to the system info and I'm looking at the primary hard drive installed 256, all good. And I'm just going to go to system config, uh, set operation at radon. And 
boot sequence will be running at legacy. So I'm going to go ahead and escape. It's going to able to boot to Windows. I'm going to try to do a BIOS update, be the last part. So I'm logging to Windows. I'm uh, going to hear in the search box, you're going to click on this laptop. Also, this Ultrabook has a touch screen, it's nice. So I click on here in a search system, SOIS and type in your system info and it will tell you what the BIOS my BIOS version is A09 2015 it's outdated so I'm going to update it so what you're going to do is you're going to go to internet then I'm just going to go to Google search engine type in Dell E7250 drivers you guys are new to this channel uh, hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen I'm just gonna so you're gonna go to Dell website here the drivers okay and I'm logged in and you're gonna go to the category and you're gonna click on BIOS you're gonna download and the BIOS they have and right now the latest one let's see it's actually A23. So you click on download. Now you're going to go to folders and downloads on your PC. And you're going to download, so you see right here, the A7250, A23. And so you basically you have to have a battery, have to be installed. And with AC adapter, I'm gonna go and see it says my BIOS is a uh, A09. I'm gonna upgrade to A23 and click OK. Friends gonna restart the Windows. Thirty one per cent complete. Fifty one per cent. So flash progress 45% and is doing an update firmware. So yeah, this is this is Ultrabook has a backlit keyboard also, it's pretty nice. I actually like it. So the buy is still updating 73%. Flash progress 84%.
BIOS update completed. Now it's going to restart. Now I'm going to go back to system again, system info, and the BIOS is updated to A23, and date shows you now November 25th, 2019, all set, it's all good. I'm just going to go to system, so make sure the RAM, so it's got 16 gigs of RAM, and click on, and 256 all-state drive, all set. So guys, it's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.